All right, we're back with another one that's, again, starting to look a little trickier. You can see we've got brackets on both sides. We've got a, both a term on the top and term on the bottom. So, as we've been saying, the easiest thing to do is multiply the number into the brackets. Well, in this case, we also have a number on the bottom over here. If I wanted to, I can multiply this minus 3 into the equation and then later figure out the 4. But I could also multiply both sides by 4 to bring it over and combine it. So, what do I mean? Well, I've got 5x minus 2 all over 4. Okay, I know I'm going to have to get rid of this number on the bottom somehow at some point. Why don't I do it right off the start? I'm going to multiply both sides by 4. Again, I'm using dot for multiplication. There's an x in the equation. I don't want to confuse myself. Well, minus 3x plus 7 times 4. These will cancel. And what do I got is 5x minus 2 and then minus 3 and minus 4. Both of these things are multiplying this bracket. If I wanted to, I could do it one at a time or I can multiply them outside as well. So it doesn't matter. If I multiply 3 in by this term by this term first or this term by this term first, it doesn't matter as long as I end up multiplying them all out in the end. So let's multiply it first. Minus 3 times, minus, times 4 or minus 12. If you don't believe me, try it out. I definitely invite you to try it out. Multiply this out. In a second, I'm going to multiply this term out. See what I get. Try it. You should get the same thing. So now I'm going to multiply both sides. I'm going to multiply out this one and then multiply out this. So remember the 5 is multiplied by both the x and the 2. So I get 5x minus 10. That's equal to minus 12x and then plus, well, plus times minus is a minus. And then we should get minus 84. 7 times 12. Great. Well, now we have to get like terms together. We've got to get all the variables, all the x's together, all the numbers together. Again, it doesn't matter what side. I'm going to bring the variables to the left. That's kind of the convention. A lot of times people like it on the left. In this case, I know when I bring it over, it's going to become positive anyway. So, I like positive numbers. If I want to get rid of the minus 12, I've got to do plus 12x to both sides. So, you think I'm doing a plus 12 over here. Great. Well, that cancels on this side. And what's 12x plus 5x? That's 17x. So I've got my minus 10 here. It's equal to still minus 84. And then, all right, I want to bring this to that side. I'm going to have to do plus 10. Plus 10. These cancel. I get 17x equals minus 74. Now, I want x on its own, divide by 17. And I get x equals minus 74 over 17. And that does not reduce. So we are stuck. Thank you.